Welcome everybody and welcome to the second day of the High Performance Container Workshop Virtual Edition of the ISC 2020. In this occasion, I'm going to be talking about container orchestration. So in these 10 minutes, I really want to do a quick containers orchestration overview and why do we need this in the HPC ecosystem. And as I call them, one platform to roam the mall. But orchestration, I build my container, now what? So the main idea behind orchestration and the word orchestration is what can we do from building my container to deploy my container in an automated way by having just a central leading agent to rule where my container needs to be deployed on which hardware, which node, uh, which user, which kind of permissions. So it's a lot of things that need to be taken in place before running my container. Why are we here? Like, this is a slide I really enjoy. Container orchestration before Kubernetes existed and we had a lot of nice and interesting projects. So these days we only talk about Kubernetes which was released by Google in 2014. But we also have Apache Mesos, we have Docker Swarm, we have all other kind of projects out there that had been released. But right now, this 2020, the project that is considered more mature and production ready is Kubernetes. But let's give a quick overview of that. So one of the main orchestrators out there is Docker Swarm. Docker Swarm is a platform, or simply Swarm, that is an open source container orchestration and is native clustering engine for Docker. Any software services or tools that run with Docker containers can run equally on a Swarm ecosystem. Also, Swarm utilizes the same command line as Docker, which make it very user-friendly. Swarm turns a pool of Docker hosts into a virtual single host. So this way, users can play with a small Swarm cluster, even coupling two or three laptops or workstations together. Swarm is essentially a useful for people that are trying to get comfortable with orchestrated environments, but has not been proved to run at scale. Another orchestrator that I really like for containers is HashiCorp Nomad proposal. Nomad is a simple and flexible workload orchestrator to deploy and manage containers and non-containerized applications across on-prem and cloud. So what I really like is that it's not just for deploying containers, you can actually deploy binaries using old school JOs or old school Shiroot. Nomad runs a single binary with small resource footprints. Developers use a declarative job specification that is kind of a mix between JSON and YAML, developed by HashiCorp itself. And Nomad handles deployment and it automatically recovers applications from failures. So it's kind of a in between Docker Swarm and Kubernetes. Kubernetes is an open source platform created by Google for container deployment operations, scaling up and down, and automation across the clusters and host. This production ready, enterprise grade, self healing, auto scaling, auto replication, auto restart platform is a modular platform that can be utilized by any architecture type of deployment. Kubernetes also distributes the load among containers. So it's very useful for web services and it comes with a native uh, load balancer. The power of Kubernetes lies in it, that it is easy to scale, environment agnostic, flexible to grow, and you can run it in a hybrid cloud manner. But Let's talk a little bit about HPC again. What about HPC native resource managers? So it is known that with Slurm, HD Condor, Bright Computing, 
you name it, right? All the, the HPC resource managers out there, there is a way to run containers, but we cannot call this container orchestration because one of the main characteristics of features that they lack and the users keep asking is a way for the containers to talk back to the manager, to the orchestrator, and request more resources, more load, a duplication, self-filling, all these features that Kubernetes, Nomad, and Docker Swarm gave us with APIs, as Laura makes it under by competing or you name it, they are made thinking on HPC kind of workloads on which you deploy your workload and you go, right? So there is no going back to talk to Slurm and request more resources when you are already running for a container. So let's talk about cloud native projects that are raising from the need and being developed by users to tackle HPC container orchestration. But in order to do this, let's give a quick introduction on what a Kubernetes operator is. Kubernetes is designed for automation, right? So out of the box, you get lost in built out automation from the core of Kubernetes. You can use Kubernetes to automate deploying and running workloads, but you can automate Kubernetes and teach Kubernetes on how to do that. So there's what Kubernetes operator come. You can teach Kubernetes how to treat your application. An operator is a method for packaging, deploying, and managing your Kubernetes native application. So it's a way of telling Kubernetes how do you want to treat and handle your application from building your containers to even updating your containers to a new version of your application. Now that we know what a Kubernetes operator is, there are some community de developed orchestration for HPC. The first one is the Scilabs WLM operator that really allows us to interact with a Slurm. So it's a kind of middle ground that allows users to talk with Kubernetes, but this operator in the background is going to turn those Kubernetes jobs into a Slurm jobs and run them. Another community-based operator is the CERN develop HD Condor operator. So it was released recently, like two months ago. Uh, there is a link for the GitHub page, and it was developed using the operator SDK from Red Hat. A more native way of running workflows in Kubernetes is the Kubeflow project. It's really tailored for machine learning, AI kind of workloads, but you can run it on top of Kubernetes and start running simple, portable, and scalable workloads from training to deploying your AI ML in a very HPC-like way, to the point that it comes with an MPI operator that allows you to run MPI workloads on top of Kubernetes. Another very interesting project that is recently joined the CNCF foundation is Volcano, the Kubernetes native batch system. So developed from the Kubebash project that is also used by Kubeflow, Volcano, it's a project that wants to give users a more slurm feeling to the end user. So it will give users the sensation that they are running something like slurm, something like Con HD Condor, but it's really going to be living on top of Kubernetes. Another solution that is out there and in the industry, not from the community, is the LSF project that is being integrated with Kubernetes by the, by the IBM Spectrum project. So I know some HPC centers are using LSF right now, but IBM is working on how they can leverage the Kubernetes operators to turn LSF into a Kubernetes native operator. So this is how it looks. Another project that is also being developed by the community is the LNL Flux. So as LSF, Flux is a HPC native resource manager, 
but there is a big push to develop as with LSF and Kubernetes native integration in such a way that we will be able to run Flux on top of Kubernetes. This project is soon to be open source and is on heavily development right now. Thank you.